What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can theme STDM, otherwise known as your lock screen. If I lock my device, you can see it's the default Endeavor OS lock screen, STDM, and of course, I'd like to change that. That is something that we can. First of all, you'll need to find a theme. In my case, I'll want to use Andromeda STDM. I'm using the store.kte.org website, but there's a ton of different places you can get themes. Simply download your theme and it'll come in some kind of a zipped format. In this case, a tarxz. What we need to do with this file is extract it, so mainly the Andromeda folder here with all of the assets inside of it to a particular folder. What we'll do is we'll open up a new terminal in our downloads folder or use cd tilde slash downloads and in here next to our theme file we'll need to extract it to somewhere else in order to extract a xz file in my case i'll be using tar xf space followed by the name of the file space hyphen capital c to choose a different directory and i'll be choosing a particular path to put this in we're putting it in slash user slash share slash stdm slash themes i typoed that there we go. In here, you can see my four different lock screen themes. What we need to do is extract it into him. So I'll paste in the path as such and hit enter. I think we need sudo, sudo password. There we go. Now it's extracted properly. Of course, you can just drag and drop it out into here and that's it. That's really all we need to do to install it. You can preview a theme using stdm hyphen greeter space hyphen hyphen test hyphen mode space hyphen hyphen theme followed by the path to the theme folder in my case it's the normal theme path folder here as such slash andromeda i'll hit enter and shortly after you should see the lock screen here i can enter my password but unfortunately this is just a demo it doesn't do anything as we're just previewing it. Alt tab to get out of it, close it. Now to choose our theme permanently for SDDM, we can do it in one of two ways by opening our settings and in here under startup and shutdown, followed by login screen, you can choose it here and apply. Otherwise, you can open up a new terminal, run sudo nano, followed by etsy stdm.conf.d slash kde underscore settings.conf. Inside of this file, you should find a few different settings, such as your desktop manager, in this case Plasma, and your theme over here, in my case Andromeda. This configuration file may be a different one for you if you're not using KDE, for example. So simply check with ls, followed by etsy stdm conf d. Inside of here, you should find different configuration files, including the one for your particular window manager. That's it. Once you set that, the next time you lock your system, it should already be applied. However, you may need to restart your system in order for changes to take place. Now, as you saw, I had a profile picture there as well. The absolute simplest way to set one is to either click your picture if you have one available here, otherwise open up settings, followed by users, and under your account, you can click your picture to set a new picture here or choose one from a particular file. Do note that SDDM only accepts PNG images, so your image will need to be in that format. The usual place for these icons is var lib accounts service slash icons. In here, you'll find images with different usernames. All you want to do is copy a PNG file in here of your particular image and change the name to be your username. You can do this either via the file browser, such as Dolphin, or of course the terminal. In my case, I've already got an icon. In my downloads folder over here, we can use the terminal and I'll run cp to copy space the name of our file. In my case, it's my logo and we'll place it in var lib accounts service icons slash our username and of course we'll need to run this as sudo entering our password there we go we've now replaced this image manually without the need for our settings window the next time we lock our system we should see our new icon and for me it hasn't updated in my menu here as i'll probably need to reboot my system or of course kde for it to update but that's really it so hopefully this video helped you thank you for watching my name's been troubleshoot and i'll see you all next time ciao